With last year's sales of EVs growing by 66%, manufacturers can't release new models fast enough to grab a slice of this booming market. But it's not only consumer cars that are sparking electric interest, because now there are a whole load of motorsport events which are also going purely electric. Formula E, the world's first all-electric racing series, held its first season in 2014. In fact, yours truly was on the grid back then. And that's recently been followed by an off-road championship called Extreme E. Formula One legends such as Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg and Jensen Button all have teams. With all this momentum building up, it wasn't going to be long before somebody devised an all-electric GT series. In other words, a racing championship using the sort of sports cars that we're used to seeing on the roads. And this is important because the technological advances that the manufacturers develop for the track EVs will filter down to their road cars. I've travelled to France to get an exclusive look at the first of this new breed to break cover. The BT-01, an electric GT race car created by Beltoise e-technology. And it's a good looking car too. At the back, I see a bit of Aston Martin and around the front, it looks a bit like that mid-engine Corvette that we've got now. And it should go well too, because the BT-01 has been designed by Spark Racing Technologies, who are the company behind both Extreme E and the Formula E cars. Spark Racing developed the battery system for both formulas with the Williams F1 team. As I'm trusted to drive their fleet of priceless historic F1 cars, Beltoise reckon I should be a safe pair of hands with their one million pound prototype. So let's look at that stance. 400 horsepower, not to 62 in 3.8 seconds. And a top speed of 130 mile an hour. They're not exactly headline grabbing. However, what we've got to keep in mind is that this Beltois BT-01 has got the same power to weight ratio as a Porsche 911 Turbo. So does that mean it will be as quick around the track as Porsche's benchmark sports car? No, it should be considerably quicker. Unlike the road-going Porsche, the Beltoise is a stripped-down racer. Every component has been selected to make it go around a track in the shortest possible time. That's why the BT-01 is much louder than a regular EV. Sound insulation just adds weight. And that's not the only thing Beltoise have left off the car. With no ABS or traction control, it's all down to the driver. The top delivery is instantaneous, as it is with all electric cars. But it does mean that you're having to modulate the throttle and really balance the power delivery. This makes for some entertaining moments, particularly on a greasy track. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and that is something that Beltra recognized. They need to work on, they need to work on the drivability of it. Just because there's so much torque being instantly delivered with your axle. To help you keep the 400 brake horses from galloping out of control, there are 10 power modes. So thus far, I've been driving around in mode six, just slowly trying to get a feel of the car. But I think it's time to it up. getting some speed going. There's a bit of roll in the chassis, but it is responsive. It's got decent stopping power, and actually the downforce in the fast corners feels pretty good. And it's just got a touch of understeer in it, but I think as, a, as an entry-level GT car, that's what you want. You want a car that inspires confidence, and this does. But it's fun. But there's also a very serious side to this car. Packed with over 50 sensors recording every conceivable piece of data about the car's performance, the BT-01 is a high-speed EV development lab. 
Beltoise will make this data available to the entire motor industry, helping to accelerate the development of EVs for everyone. They're already working on innovative ways to cool the batteries to reduce charging times. Which is good news because operating at race pace, the Beltoise current battery can only run for 10 minutes before it's time to hit the pits. Beltois plan on running the first championship for these cars here in France in 2023. And by then, they should be capable of doing 25 minutes of racing on a single charge. As for a road car, that's still a few years away. In the meantime, if you want the track version, it's going to cost you around £200,000. On the whole, even though this is just a working prototype, I've been really impressed with what I've seen today. I can't wait to see what they come up with in a couple of years' time.